10. 3x times 5 minus 3 times 6 plus 2 equals x squared. What is the value of x? So for this one, it's pretty simple. Uh, let me rewrite it down here. 3x times 3, 5 minus 3, 6 plus 2 equals x squared. So what we need to do is solve for x. And we do that by first doing, <coughs> well, for the older operations, in case you don't know, is PENDAS. Oh, I forgot a D. D, A, <laughs> well, I just messed that all up. P, E, and D, A, S. With his parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Okay, so what we need to do is do what's inside the parentheses here first. Just three times three would be nine times five minus two would be two. Or five minus three, sorry, would be two. Times six plus two would be eight equals x squared. So again we multiply these out so would be nine times two would be eighteen times 8 equals x squared. Uh, I'm going to do the multiplication over here for 8 times 8. 18 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times, oops, 6. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 6 would be, tw would be 14, sorry, <laughs> 144. So 144 equals x squared squared. And to get x to solve for x, we have to take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared would be x, and the square root of 144 would be 12. So x equals 12, and that would be answer B. Um, for those of you that may not know how to find the square root, of a number or what a square root is. It's basically what number times itself equals that number. So uh, 12 times 12 equals 144. This is the extended version for all of you that see that I already found the answer but just to kind of explain a little bit further. If we didn't know that the square root of whatever this number is and to find that, we would take the number and then do a factor tree. So I know that you basically take what numbers multiply together would equal that number. So let's say that uh, 2, we'll take 2 for example. 2 times what equals 144? I don't even know. Let's say 412, maybe 24. No, not 24. <laughs> Let's say 40, 60, 144. Huh, I should have thought about that. 144 to 2v7, 72, sorry. 72, wow, that's pretty bad. 72, you can't divide 2 anymore, so 72 can be, uh, I really should have thought about this first. 
this is how I would think about it. Uh, 6, 30, maybe 15, 16, 16, 2 times, no, 36, sorry. 36, and 36 would be 18, 2 times 18, 18, sorry, take 18 up here, 18 would be 9, 2 times 9, 9 would be 3 times 3, so we have, now we have 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. So for square roots, we have to take groups of two. So we have two, and two, and we're gonna cross over like that, and then we have three. So we have two times two times three. Two times two is four. Four times three is 12. The square root of 144 is 12. Sorry, that took a long time, but that's the realness. That's how I would actually solve it out if I didn't know the answer. Thanks.